Welcome to the Artistic World of Michael Anthony. Today, I'm going to do some techniques on drawing so you can learn how to get better at your own skills. These are a great way, uh, these are a great way to practice. First of all, don't push down hard when you draw with whatever medium you use. Just do light strokes. If you go really hard, your lines become harder to erase. And you can still see it. So, just draw lightly. The first thing they teach is how to sketch these smaller lines make light patterns with them with shapes circles are hard to do so you practice with them Start off with little ones. You go around and multiple times to get that perfect circle. My pinky keeps getting caught on the screen first. Let's see. And then eventually, make bigger circles circles. See? Good practice. Now, squares. Those other basic shapes. You can... Dots. You know, everybody else had to play connect the dots. Just sketch across the screen or your paper, your canvas, whatever it is that you use. Make the two side lines, or well, excuse me, the up and down first, and then I do the sides. connect the dots to make your fun little squares. See? And then eventually you don't have to even use connect the dots. You just imagine them. And maybe turn them a little bit. It's okay. They never have to be perfect. There's no such thing. details at a time, you see. I don't just come up with big drawings and paintings and creations. Instantly, you start off with little bits. Now, let's make them 3D. So, these little side lines across, make sure they're all going in the same direction. And only three sides of your square and then just outline the back side of that same shape it's like an upside down L shape almost uh, 3D let's do this one let's make the lines longer to make it get show a different side of the face of the square want to do ones that are maybe a little taller. But this one, let's bring it all the way down. Same direction, all the way down from that corner. And then this one, keep these ones a little higher. And this lower one, just make a V shape. And then 
There you go. See, they're not perfect, but. You just keep practicing. One little square at a time. How fun, isn't it? Now, you want to make your circles 3D, right? So, there's many different ways you can do it. Little lines, right? Just be very patient with it, you know? And on this back side of this circle, I'm just gonna fill in these shadows, small little strokes with my pencil or my pen or my paintbrush. And I just bring the darkness in to the light. Because when you tap down, you swipe, it ever so slightly fades naturally from the movement of your hand. See? It almost looks like a half of a moon, the half face of the moon. Now, I want to bring these shadows in on this side as if your light is coming from here. Coming down that way. So, this is your light spot. So, you want to bring the shadows in. So, just bring a few more shadows on this bottom side, right? Because it's coming in from the top, right? Here's, for example, now, here's another trick. Go the other direction with your hand movements. And you'll get this. I should be going this way though. Right? And it brings the shadows this way. Do it once more. Bring it up here, right? Well, you really need to do it one direction here, really. Nothing wrong with more detail. It's just more practice. Alright, there's one way. There's another way. Let's say your light is coming from this direction as it is in the drawing, obviously. Just do little dots. They call this stippling, if I remember correctly. So your darkest side is over here, right? And just make more dots down here where the shadows are. And then as you come out and upwards, just do ever so slightly less dots. Right? I like sprinkles. <laughs> and then you come up here, you space them out a little further. Right? And a little further. if you want, more practice, so practice makes you better, see, then a few more, up here, you know, the more time you spend on it, the better, but it doesn't have to be precise, just play with it, you know, And then, of course, some people have the shading technique with their pencils. I just have my iPad right now, but you can typically pretend this is the use of, like, using a pen, right? Just make these permanent marks and they stay. What if... draw 
on Windows. Right. Let's say this is our little new little canvas. Just start a new drawing. If you made these too small. Let's just practice the triangles, right? You know, slight little movements. Very light little movements. A few more. Make them 3D from what you've learned. Yeah, see? Now, they look like you have a front of a house. side windows that slides up and down. On a big window. Okay. One like this. There you go. They're just little squares, that's all they are. Doorknob, obviously a circle, right? Oh, chimney. Soft lines. Here's your sidewalk. Here's your front lawn. And then try a funny little shape for your mailbox. learn how to draw. Now, always remember to sign your work.